Hello, welcome again to Level Chain Channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca. I'm a real pilot, and today I'm going to talk the low speed options that we have on the 737 from PMDG. Uh, so we have a uh, couple of videos about all the options that we have on the 737 uh, from uh, PMDG. Today I'm going to talk about these two options that we have here. The airspeed low auto and the descent under speed margin both of them are on this low speed video you can download this document that i called video list for the pmdg 737 and then based on every option you will find a video on the right side that explains you uh, all the functions that you have so for today's video we go uh, inside, sorry, we go inside the airplane again. Let me just make sure, yes, you are watching the same thing I have on my screen now. So we go inside uh, the 737 from PMDG and we are about to start our descent. I will uh, set here initially something like 15,000 feet for us to start the descent and when we go on the CDU menu, PMDG setup, aircraft equipment, on the page number 7, that is called EGPWS4, we have the option airspeed low auto, and this is on or off. So this is about your airspeed. So if I keep it on, you will listen to the airplane to shout airspeed low, airspeed low, when you have a low speed state energy. Huffley is about half of the umbar band. And to show you this, I'm going to disengage my autopilot. And I will pitch up. Well, actually, I can do better. I can keep my autopilot connected. I can disengage my auto throttle. I keep my auto throttle, my tr throttles in idle. And now I'm going to select altitude hold. So the airplane will level off and maintain this altitude. Okay. As the airplane goes up a little bit now to maintain the altitude that I press the altitude hold button, you see that as I'm not adding any thrust and my auto throttle is off, my airspeed is coming down. So now I'm going to give you the simulator audio. So now you can uh, listen to the wind. And you will see that on the real plane is halfway through the umber band, on the middle of the umber band, but somehow inside the umber band we are going to listen to the airspeed low airspeed low call out and this is the airspeed low arrow on of course if you take it to off you will not have this airspeed low airspeed low call out so i'm going to be quiet from now on and then you will see uh that uh, we are going to listen to this auto warning that tells you that you are in a low speed state for now we are reaching the top of the umber band and this is the bottom of the umber band so halfway through here we should have the low the airspeed low auto let's see what pmdg does you just listen to the airspeed low and as you can see the airspeed indication has a yellow highlight when you are in the low speed state 
So I'm adding thrust again to get out of this airspeed low stage until the yellow box is removed. So we are getting out of the amber band. The yellow box will be removed. Okay, yellow box is removed. So now I'm going to put my thrust back to idle. And this time, the airspeed low auto will be off. So now you will see that the only airspeed indication will turn yellow. But you do not have the airspeed low auto. Of course, most of the companies, they opt to have the low airspeed auto to on. It's something that will uh, drive the pilot's attention to it if they are not looking to the screen. So of course, if you're looking to the screen, you are going to notice. So now we are in a low speed and there was no auto warning. Okay, this is the airspeed low on, and this is the airspeed low off. Okay, so I'm going to keep it on. This was the first indication that we had. So now I'm going to use level change to descend, and I'm going to catch this path. So to have a better path, I'm going to change my descent speed to 300 knots. So I will be able to catch the path. And then, while my airplane is descending again to our descent path, and I'm going to select here 9000, I'm going to show you the second low speed option that we have. This now is on the page number 10 that is called FMC2 and we have the fourth option as descent under speed margin and you can set from 15 to 5 knots. I've set here to 15 to explain to you. It will be really easy to understand as we go by. So I'm just waiting the airplane to go back to path. Auto throttle on. VNAV. So right now we have VNAV speed. I'm going to extend the speed brakes. I'm going to remove the simulator audio because this is not an auto warning anymore. So it's better for you to understand me. So now we are going to catch the path you will see that we are on VNAV path and I'm going to retract my speed brake. Okay, so this is the standard descent that we all do. When we are close to the top of descent, we select a lower altitude on the autopilot, on the MCP, and the airplane starts the descent on top of descent, reducing the thrust to idle and on VNAV path. And we are maintaining 300 knots on this descent. So this descent under speed Margin, why we have the anti-ice on, it should be off. No worries, so it's off. So this descent under speed margin is the amount of airspeed that the auto throttle will allow the speed to decay below the target speed before adding thrust. So in this case, I selected 15, so 300 minus 15 is 285. So the airplane will keep descending on VNAV path without adding any thrust until the airplane reaches 285 knots. If it reaches 285 knots or below, the airplane will add thrust automatically if the auto throttle is on to recover this speed. And you can set anything between 15 to 5. So I will show you fif with 15 initially. Okay, we w should be able to select uh, the Q&H now. Okay, that's fine. And we keep going down. So I'm going to extend the speed brakes. 
So you will see that the airspeed starts to go down. When it's around 285, which is 50 knots below, close to that, I will retract the speed brake and you will see that as we reach 285, the throttle will wake up automatically. Okay, we are going there, so I retracted the speed brake. And we want to see the airspeed to go down. Slowly, slowly. As you can see, we have now 286. This is 14 knots to the 300. So the throttles, they are still on idle. Okay? I'm not using my throttles, they are still on idle. As we reach 285, and as we are not reaching, I'm going to extend the speed brake again. But now you will see that when we reach 285, that is coming now. The auto throttle wakes up on FMC speed and thrust is added for the airplane to maintain this 300 knots. So I retracted the speed brake and now the airplane will keep thrust until it reaches 300 knots again. When it reaches 300 knots, once again the throttles will retard to idle and the airplane will continue descend on 300 knots. If for some reason it reaches 285 again, then the auto throttle wake up, add thrust and we have uh, the same uh, system operation again. So as you can see, with almost 70% of thrust, bringing the speed back to 300. When it reaches 300, you will see now, it's reaching 300, 299, 300. Now the throttles, they are back to retard, they are back to idle automatically. Okay. And when it reaches idle, we'll have it armed. You can change this to 5 knots or anything between 5 to 15, but if you change it to 5, now you will see that at 295, only 5 knots below our descent speed, which is set to 300. So every time that it goes below 5 knots, because now I've selected 5 knots, the auto throttle will wake up, up. you have the FMC speed, We'll add thrust and once again it will add thrust until it reaches 300 knots. Right now 295 FMC speed, we already have the thrust. I'm using the speed brake to reduce the thrust, or uh, sorry, to reduce the speed, but of course it happens any time, especially if you have uh, some headwind that it was not forecasted and inserted on the FMC, your airspeed will slowly start uh, to, to decay and when it reaches the margin that you selected here from 5 to 15, it will wake up. You can, as I told you, you can select anything like 6, like 10, okay? Uh, the maximum is 15 and the minimum is 5. So now I'm going to tell you which one you should use and uh, why the companies they have the options to choose between 5 to 15. First, uh, if you are flying in an airspace or most of the flights it is in an airspace that the ATC is very strict about your airspeed, the companies they tend to select as five because anytime my airspeed goes down and reaches only five knots below the desired speed the auto throttle will already wakes up and keep the speed that is supposed to be if the speed goes up they use the speed brake if the, it goes down by five knots the auto throttle already wakes up okay so this is better to control the airspeed but on the other hand if the auto throttle is waking up a lot of times during the descent you are going to spend more fuel okay so if the ATC is very strict about the speed you go to five on the other hand if the ATC is not very strict with your descent speed and you do not want the auto throttle to wake up very often uh, so in this case even 
burning less fuel because you will allow the airspeed to decay up to 50 knots you should select 50 knots if you are not sure a good compromise between both is 10 and this is airline selectable okay so if you want to be very strict to the speed select it to 5 but you will burn more fuel because the auto throttle will wake up more during this descent and approaches that you do if you do not really care about the speed and you want to have an idle descent as long as you can, select 15. If you are in doubt, put 5. Once again, with 15, I will give you just another example. It's selected to 15. The speed, the descent speed is 240. So 240 minus 15 now is 225. When the airspeed reaches 225 and we are on VNAV path, the auto throttle will wake up, we we'll add thrust, and we have instead of auto throttle armed the FMC speed until you reach 240 knots. Oops, my mistake, I didn't select uh, below. Oh, ouch to intervene so we can keep going down. My mistake, so it's retard, VNAV path. And as you can see, we are with uh, 228 knots. So once again, we are waiting for 50 knots, 225. So we can see FMC speed and auto throttle waking up automatically. So you see 225 FMC speed. We have some thrust. Okay, in this case, we don't need to help with the speed brake anymore. So the thrust will increase. We'll bring the speed back to 240 knots. And then it will uh retard to idle again and this process continues all the time based on the margin that you use so i explained to you uh two things related to low speed state the first one is the airspeed low auto where you are going to have the auto you are going to have the airplane shouting with you uh when you have a low speed state and the second one is with reference to the VNAV path descent when the auto throttle will wake up automatically and will add thrust to maintain the airspeed that you selected for descent. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit the like button, share it with your friends. Uh, if you have any doubt, leave in the comments below and I see you soon next time. Bye bye.